right, we're going to do a run up here. Run it up to... Okay. Control's clear and free. We're going to add a little bit of flaps. Mexico traffic, Spirit Mall 750, November Charlie is going to be departing runway 24, local 5 for Mexico. Now we're going to get lined up here. And we're going to do a short takeoff. Ease into power. Lift off very quickly. And welcome everybody. I'm here at the June workshop. I'm here with Papone, and yeah. we're here building the rudder. And uh, this is your first time in a small little airplane, isn't it? Yeah, this is my first time in a small airplane. Well, that was an excellent takeoff. I uh, have lots of visibility out there with the 750 stole. Yeah, I can see everything clearly. Yeah, we'll get out here a little ways and we'll show you some stuff on the 750. And This is level flight, uh, the 750 stall. We got the Jabiru six cylinder engine in here, six cylinder, air cooled, direct drive. Hands off, flies hands off, very stable aircraft. Okay. Get out of here another mile or two. And so during this stable flight, you can, you can take off your hand and it's still good fine. Oh yes, see? Look at this. Very stable. It's not going to just, you know, start drifting or anything. Very gradual it will, but... But it's been very stable. It is, it is. And it's a very hot, buggy day. You know, you're, you know, we're a density altitude of 4,000 feet right now. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and do a turn to the left and look at the exit visibility right over the wing there. See the wing? Look over there, you can see great visibility. Most aircraft yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't see over the wing, so you're blinded in the, in the turn. Yeah. We'll roll out right there and then we'll do one this way. Really great. <laughs> yeah, this is your first time in a this small plane. Funny. All right, and you're enjoying it great. So, Papone, would you explain why you're here at the Rudder Workshop? Uh, I came from the University of Alabama. I'm an instructor there. So we have a lab called Aerospace Structures Lab. Okay. So on that lab, uh, we just newly introduced a new lab where the students can get a chance to assemble. And these are college uh, students, correct? Yeah. Yes. All the students can get a chance to assemble some aircraft parts. Uh, so this is nothing, uh, this is a new thing I would say. Not all the colleges do this stuff. And most of the cases students uh, don't get that much of chance to do a hands-on. Right. So uh, we got to know about you and we thought, okay, let's go to the workshop and get some parts from it. Maybe start with the tail section right. and uh, learn the assembly part and gradually we can build up a whole area. 
Right. And and uh, and what I have seen today, you know, Papo, you you are a PhD, very highly educated, and I think you're learning a lot here at the Rudder Workshop that you can take back to your students and uh, show them the hands-on, which you know. That, that is great to do. You need both the theory oh, yeah. and the practical, so it's great. Yes, I did my PhD on the composite materials. Uh -huh. so I did a lot of computational work, a little bit of experiments, but that, that level of uh, involvement with some assembly, I have never done it. Okay. So this is really something new. And uh, well, the, well, the nice thing about working with aluminum on all aluminum aircraft is it's a very clean product to work with. You can work with it any temperatures, pretty much. And, uh, you know, it's just very forgiving, very light. Yeah. And the assembly process is also pretty much uh, pretty straightforward. And if you follow the process, it comes out very good. Right. Exactly. Well, and uh, you're, you're just about halfway done with your rudder. You're putting on the rudder skin now. Uh, you, you think you've built a lot of confidence in today that you could go back right now and uh, teach your students on, on how to build the rudder? Yeah, definitely. Okay, <laughs> great, great. Definitely. Well, let's fly around a little bit more, and then we'll go we'll go back into the airport and do a nice uh, landing. And if you want, you can follow with me. Put your hand on there. Okay. Put your other hand. Yeah, there you go. Good. That way you can kind of get a feel uh, how airplane flies. Now, have you ever flown any simulators or anything like that? I haven't. No. Okay. I just did a cell phone simulation. So that's really <laughs> no. Okay. So there you go. It's all yours. There you go. It's. Pretty easy to fly. And we got the nice glass cockpit, uh, the bubble doors, which are three and a half inches, gives you a lot of shoulder room. Uh, the 750 stole, it's a complete matched hole kit. Now the rudder kit right now, uh, there's a lot of drilling because we want the customers to learn the basic hands-on need skills. But we're actually improving that, so we make the rudder actually just like the rest of the kit, matched hole. Okay. How long that, uh, does it take to assemble the whole part? Um, the, aircraft? the whole aircraft, you're looking airframe wise, you're looking about 450 to 500 hours to build. So, you know, what I tell customers is if you work on it every day of the week, five days, just five days a week, about six months, you should have the complete project finished. Um, you know, for your students, you're probably going to do a lot of research and understanding different sections and stuff, so, you know, it might take you a little longer. Um, you know, so the, the tail kit is actually a good place to start. It's not going to take very long. All right. Well, let's go back and we'll do a nice landing. And uh, we, we got to get you back to building that rudder so you can finish. <laughs> Definitely. And uh, we're here on uh, June uh, 16th. Um, it's, uh, the heat index today is 107. I've got density altitude right now uh, about 4,300 feet. So uh, it's a very warm day. We're fully loaded, two of us, and it has no problem flying. And uh, Papoon and I, we're going to go back. We're going to do a nice landing in the stole aircraft and uh, try to finish that rudder. Okay, we're going to do our pre-landing check with gas undercarriage mixture prop seat belts. Looks great. And Mexico traffic. Spare mode 750 is going to be entering the left hand one for runway 24 Mexico. Mexico traffic, Spearmall is turning left down for 2-4 Mexico. Alright, so we're, we're in downwind, beam the numbers, we bring back power and bring in the flaps a little bit when we get in the wide arc. A little bit of wide arc. And let's start our base to final. Make a new turn and go back to the Uh-huh. That's what we're doing. And this is called the base turn. Mexico Dead Experiment. 750 November Charlie's turning left base to 24 Mexico. Mexico traffic experiment. 750 November Charlie is turning final for 24 Mexico. Let's get lined up here. Got blown off course just a hair. 
There we go, line up on the center line. I'm going to start lowering the rest of the flaps, flaps all the way down. There's a little thermal there, feel it pulling us up. It's kind of helping. It's going an updraft right there. And we're going to bring the nose up and then we're going to add a touch of power. Basically keep the nose wheel off the runway. There we go. Keep up with maintain the center line. Nice soft land. There you go. Well, welcome to the general aviation airplanes. You are experimental. It's your first flight. Is it a small airplane? This is the best flight. I yes. think it was even better than the one I had this morning. <laughs> Good. And you came in from, uh, and you landed in St. Louis? I landed in St. Louis. Okay. Yes.